Okay, Messier moment with my Messier moment with my good friend and pal David Gear, also known as DG Haven, also known as the man that makes things happen, buddy. This is a big night. Almost mercy. Our friend Tommy Danucci directed a great movie. Tell us about it. I thought it was a successful night. The film went over great with the audience. Uh, very layered film, but it still had the payoffs in the end, which I think people enjoyed. And you had a role in this film. You played like a, a guidance counselor for the main character, <laughs> yeah. Jesse Default's character. Tell us about your experience on the day of your shooter for the film. Uh, Tommy had a vision for me, and I wasn't so sure. And he said, just shave everything but your mustache. So that set up the creepy character, uh, Mr. James, who uh, is a corrupter. He meets a, a pretty uh, un, unsavory demise in the film, and uh, Tommy had a vision for it, so I just rolled with it as any actor would with a strong director, and, it, and I think he got a couple laughs and a, and a few uh, snickers in the back. So. And now, David, you, you work up here in Rhode Island. You're also yeah. from Cromwell, Connecticut, your hometown. Sure. Recently had a big experience with a piece called Blue Line. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I produced Blue Line, which you're a big part of. Uh, you came out and acted for a couple days. Blue Line is an action thriller starring Tom, Tom Sizemore and Kevin Nash that uh, is due out in about eight months, worldwide release for Switzer Entertainment Group. Danucci was involved, you were involved, so it was a uh, Rhode Island, came to Connecticut for a couple weeks. And we had uh, Big Daddy Cool, Kevin Nash, That's in the right. film. We had you know, lead actor Tom Sizemore, uh, some beautiful leading ladies. Tell us about them. Uh, the pretty girls were there. We had Jordan Ladd, Nikki Moore, uh, Lindsay Lamb. So it was a... It was a, a a, a film about a uh, a female seeking revenge. Right. And I, I've I've been there, so I, I, I could relate. So I made a movie about it. And you, I you know, it's it's funny with you because I never know what we can and can't talk about. Right, so right. I'm just gonna leave it up to you. What can you talk about? What do you want to talk about to let David Gear be known to the worldwide people? Well, you've always been a, a big proponent and supporter of my pro wrestling career. You could see me at XWA uh, here in in Rhode Island. Uh, on May 30th, uh, and you and I are writing something. Yes. And it's yes. Uh, it's pretty high level, and there'll be involved a, a lot of uh, interesting and famous people, so I, I appreciate that as always. Well, we're going to keep that uh, on the down low, but it's always awesome to be working with my friend David Gear. And you know what? The Industry Insider's Messier Moment started with you and one other gentleman, that's correct. Uh, Russell Shippey, so we want to th say thanks to him. and well, Shout out to Russell and everybody that supports Industry Insiders, and DG Haven has one thing to say. Tonight was a very dark film, but I'll be back to make another. David Gear, DG Haven, here. Beautiful Warwick, Rhode Island, the wonderful people coming out to support this film, Almost Mercy. We'll see if you can find the director, Tommy Danucci. He might be uh, hiding, he might be doing something. Let's see if we can get him to talk. Keep the camera rolling. <laughs> He's distracted by his actors. We'll see if he comes out and greets us. As he's high-fiving, first assistant director, high-fiving his website master, Tommy Danucci. Always time, brother. You just, I'm good. The, the thing is, you just had a big premiere of your film, Almost Mercy. Yeah. People are comparing this uh, to Reservoir Dogs, uh, early Oliver Stone pieces. Wow. What do you have to say about it? I'm just happy that we were able to get all the people in together tonight. Uh, a lot of people came from pretty far distances to come to this premiere. And, uh, you know, Danielle, our star, was here tonight. She was able to make it from New York. And, you know, most of the crews here, most of the cast here, family, friends, it's just... You know, everything's going really well. It sounds like you have a big thing here. This movie to reach the what problem. What are you trying to say, Mike? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the problem. <laughs> the terrible. Just start <laughs> just no, but I had you walk it in. It was good. It was good. <laughs> we'll start. We'll start. I seem drunk and I'm not. That's well, that's all right. All right. We'll start again. We'll start again. Yeah. Messier moment. Tommy Danucci, director of the film. Hey. That's my big reveal. <laughs> okay. Wrap it up. Yeah. Okay. Tommy Danucci, almost. Quick Tommy Danucci, almost mercy. What do you think about the film here in Warwick, Rhode Island? How it came out? I think it was a great turnout. I think it played pretty well. I think a lot of people received it nicely, and uh, I'm just excited to get it out on May 26th. See it hit video on demand, and 
go from here in Rhode Island to all over the country and then eventually worldwide on our uh, video on demand platform. So May 26th, check it out. You've got a great cast, a great crew. They came together, make it a family for this film. It's a dark film, but I think it's going to resonate with audiences who, who just understand the depth, storytelling that needs depth and character development and a unique angle on the world. Yeah, I think a lot of people like to escape uh, through movies and a lot of times having a dark film allows you a little bit more of an escape in a different direction and maybe take some aggressions out through a movie in ways that you wouldn't normally and I think it's good. I think it's a good outlet for people and a, a good way to kind of take a break from reality for a, a little bit of time and spend a couple hours suspended in, uh, in a world on the screen. The world of South Greenwich, Rhode Island. Kind of seems like a place both of us are kind of familiar with, man. It's a fictitious place, but I think it, it's, some, it's, a, it's a kind of place that a lot of people will be familiar with. And just because, you know, it's not a real town. I think a lot of those elements exist in real towns, you know. Cool. Tommy, you've got a big career ahead of you. A lot of projects we could talk about. What do you want to talk about, whether it's Almost Mercy or anything else? What do you want to say to the audience of Messier Moment? I just want to say that, you know, if you're looking for a movie that is going to be different than what you see on the standard... Uh, you know, everyday run-of-the-mill kind of film uh, that has a little bit of everything for for people who like a dark kind of a film. This is the one for you. So May 26th, uh, check it out if you like that sort of thing. Almost mercy. One thing, my buddy Tommy Danucci did a great job. People here came to support you. Thank you. Awesome work, man. Appreciate it. Okay, Tommy Danucci for Messier Moment, Almost Mercy, right here in beautiful Warwick, Rhode Island. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. How was that one?